And today I have 10 tips for you all that will result in big changes. Yes, of course, you know, we're on this weight loss journey. And so they're going to be geared towards weight loss. So um, a lot of times we have maybe those 10, 15, 20 pounds that we're trying to get rid of. But if they're just too stubborn and we don't know what we're doing wrong. Um, even if for those who are wanting to lose more weight than that, uh, these tips can help too. If you want to lose weight faster, these tips can help too. Um, it really doesn't matter how fast or how slow you lose the weight, as long as you get rid of it. Okay? So, we're going to get right into the tips. I have 10 tips written down on my telephone. Okay. Tip number one, I would say would be to change your mindset, okay? Starting this journey is something that is so important. It's so important to your life, important to your health, period. So if your mind is not set and geared on it, and you're not disciplined, and you're not self-motivated, self-determined, you're not going to last. You're going to give up, you're going to fail, you're not going to last. You know, if you fail to prepare, you're preparing to fail. That's simple. You know, you have to get in your mind, I want to do this. You have to realize that enough is enough. I'm tired of being fat. I'm tired of not being able to walk. I'm tired of not being able to stand. I'm tired of having bad knees, having a bad back. I am tired of just tired. You know, and you have to get to that point. Because if you don't get to that point, you're really not going to have a reason to stay on here, you know, um, I say find that reason that you want to lose weight. Find the reason that makes you motivated the most, and think about that every single day, every time you wake up, for every workout, for every meal, every time you have a feeling you want to just you want to go get some cookies or some chips or a donut or some pizza. Think about that thing that you are motivated to change your life for. Think about it, and I guarantee you, watch it help you change. Watch. Okay? Because many people, they start this journey, and then they quit midway through, or they give up, or they just, their motivation is gone. You know, um, it's important to stay motivated. You have to stay motivated during this whole process. Um, prayer. Prayer works. You hear me? I pray for every exercise, every workout stay motivated, to stay determined, to have the strength to endure each and every workout. And before I know it, the workout is over with. And I'm like, oh, thank you, Lord. You know, because this journey is not an easy one. It's not easy, period, point blank. It gets easier, but it's always going to be hard. It's always going to be a task. It's always going to be an obstacle for you to do. Because it's something some of us are not used to doing. And we have to pressure ourselves and push ourselves and motivate ourselves. You know. So, um, yeah. You know, and also, this will also be a part of tip one. Is if you lack motivation, find motivation. Get on Instagram. Look up hashtags, um, weight loss journey. Hashtag big girls workout. Hashtag whatever. And look at all of those photos and posts and everything. Get on Facebook. Find weight loss groups. Um, I'm in a group now called Workout 2.0. People, people from all over the world okay, are in this group. They got before and after pictures. They got positive posts. Everything you can think of. Find you some motivation. Okay? Number two. Drink lots and lots and lots and lots. And lots of water. Water is going to be your best friend. I have water right here now. I drink water like my life depends on it because my life does depend on this. Okay? Cut out all your drinks. Soft drinks, cut them out. Sodas, juices, cut them out. They fill with so much soda, so much soda. Bah! So much sugar. You know, you don't want to drink your calories, okay? Um, maybe one or two sodas is probably three, four hundred calories. You don't, no. You, that can be a meal that you can be eating. A 
healthy meal at that. You know, so cut out, cut out the drinks. You know, that's one thing I did. And I saw major results just by cutting out sodas. Cutting out Kool-Aid. Cutting out juices. Cutting out uh, sugary teas. Just cut it out. It's hard. It's hard, hard, hard. Especially if you're a lover, a die-hard lover of sodas and drinks and all that stuff. All that sugary stuff. Cut it out. Um, you can substitute it with healthy juices like 100% um, apple juice. Um, uh, with healthy type of teas. Um, crystal lights. Uh, you know, the little single packages and stuff. You can do those. I can't drink those because they're um, very, very sweet to me. But I did find... Um, a kind at the dollar store that are they regular, regular or something, W Y L E R S, something like that. And I got one that's half lemon, half tea, and there's, there's a strawberry lemonade kind. I drink those. I don't drink one every day. I maybe drink one once a week or maybe twice a week at the most. And that helps me get over the craving of needing the soda and needing some iced tea, needing some lemonade, stuff like that. You know, um, now on the cheat day, I may, I may have a soda, but I'm more than likely, I won't, I have something like a juice, but other than that, I'm really not big on sodas anymore, and I thank the Lord for that. Water has become my best friend, drink lots and lots of water, water aids in the weight loss process, water helps weight loss be gone faster. People say, well, aren't you going to retain all that water? No. What water does is basically replenishes from your workouts. Okay? Um, all that sweating you're doing, you need to stay hydrated. So water replenishes you. Okay? Water flushes out all those toxins. It cleans out your system, cleans out your kidneys, all of that stuff. Water is good for you. If you can drink water the whole day, you're doing good. You know, I try to drink 8 to 10 glasses of water a day. Um, maybe eight to ten water bottles a day. Uh, really doing a, a jug, a gallon is 128 ounces of water a day. So if you can do a jug, not a jug, a gallon of water a day, you're bomb. You're good. So make if you if you think you can't do that as of now, make it an ultimate goal of to drink a gallon of water a day every day. Okay. Tip three. You have to have to eat five to six times a day. Small meals, small snacks, five to six times a day. Um, I say stay between 12 to 800, 12 to 1800 calories. You know, even though you may not ever hit 1800 calories a day, stay between that range. Some may think 1800 is too much, then that's fine. You can shorten it from 12 to 15, 12 to um, 12, 13, I know the most I've gotten is about 1,200 calories a day. And, um, once you lower your calorie intake, it helps you lose weight faster. Working out, lower your calorie intake, and drinking lots and lots of water is the most effective way to lose weight, period. All these teas and everything and diet pills. They can aid in the process, but they're not going to be the main source of the process, okay? Now, I'm not knocking teas, and I'm not knocking pills, because they work, man. They work. But, the main, main, main things would be cutting calories, water, exercise, okay? So, yeah. Eat five to six times a day, which is probably three main meals and two to three snacks. You can eat breakfast, a snack lunch, a snack, and then dinner. Okay? And then, that's it. And I promise you, you won't feel hungry. People are like, of course not. Some people say, but I'm going to be hungry all day. Or I'm hungry all the time. You, you, you're you not snacking during the day, you're going to be hungry. Okay? So, I eat, if I eat a, a hearty breakfast, I eat a small lunch. If I eat a hearty lunch, I eat a small dinner. You know, um, my breakfast is oatmeal, so my lunch is something like tuna and crackers or um, sometimes Vienna sausage. It's just 
or sometimes it would be a piece of fish or whatever and then dinner would be a little heavier than that okay um or you could do a heavy breakfast medium lunch small dinner however however it goes for you okay but make sure you're eating those five to six times a day and make sure that it's all clean eating which is another tip that i have later on tip number four exercise 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 I cannot express this any more, can't stress it anymore. You have to exercise. People say, well, you don't have to exercise. You can just change your diet and you still lose weight. Mm, don't think so. You have to exercise. Um, you know, but before I exercise, even before getting, getting into this whole journey thing, I would recommend you go see your uh doctor okay go see your doctor go see a doctor go see a doctor because all our bodies are different so you want to get an okay before doing all of this stuff because you may never know it could help it could not help you know you don't want to further damage anything that's already sitting in your body that may be wrong you don't want to further damage it. you don't want to further make it worse okay so and which leads me into the exercising tip. Um, some would say, some most doctors would tell you, you know, if you have not worked out, if you're not currently working out, to start at um, working out to three times a week, thirty minutes a day. That's what my doctor told me. That doesn't give fast results for me. Okay, it works, you know, and you can later on progress to. Four times a week, five times a week, six times a week. I know some people work out seven days a week. You know, that's fine. I work out six days a week. Um, I do 30-minute uh, cardio, 30-minute strength, strength to the eye training. Um, you know, on certain days I do different things. Um, but I do a 30-minute workout in the morning from 6.30 to 7. And then from about 7.00. To, from about 7.30 to 9, I do my walking and running laps. That's every single day, Monday through Saturday, six days a week. Okay, um, so yeah, you have to have to do that. Also, be careful and pay attention to your body when exercising. Um, if you, if you are, um, working out and you're exercising and you feel a certain pain after you're done, Sometimes it's one or two things. One is because you're using muscles in areas that you have not used and it's going to be sore. That's normal. That's normal. So don't stop. Okay? Two, you could be overusing it and it could be affecting your body. That's where the problem lies. You don't want to overuse your muscles. Because if you tear a muscle, you're going to be in trouble. If you overuse that muscle, you're going to be in further trouble because then you're going to probably end up with a permanently damaged muscle. You don't want to end up with permanently damaged muscles because then what can you do? Like, for example, I was getting runner's knee because I would, I would walk. And I when I started out, I had done no walking, no exercising, no nothing. So my body needed to get used to it. But I started out doing... Um, person myself doing two to five miles a day, two days a week, and my body wasn't used to it, so it would affect my knees, and my knees would get stiff, and they would just hurt, hurt to stand, hurt to sit down, hurt to bend, all of that, and it was affecting them. And uh, some days I would go right back out and wouldn't let my knee heal. That's a problem. That's the problem. You don't want to do that because you can further damage yourself. And then you'll be in bigger trouble. So, exercise. Yes, exercise. But don't overuse your muscles. You know, um, know your limits when it comes to exercising. Know what you can do. Know what you can't. Simple. Okay? Tip number, number five. Find out what works for you and stick with it. I can't stress that anymore. 
just because Susie works out seven days a week and only eats um, crackers, bacon, and, and water, don't mean that's going to work for you. That might not work for anybody, but still, <laughs> it won't work for you. It might work for Susie and Susie's body. She knows what her body can handle. She knows her body. What works for you may be totally different. You may have to plan your meals, strictly plan them, strictly plan your workouts, strictly plan your water. You may have to plan out everything. But you have to do what works for you. Okay? You can get you can get tips from other people to aid you in what works for you. Okay? Don't go trying to copy somebody else's workouts. Don't go try to copy somebody else's meal planning, uh, their meals. Don't do that because one is going to really, really overwhelm you. You don't want to be overwhelmed. You want to take this day by day, okay, and you want to do it with ease. Don't let it overwhelm you. So find what works for you and do that. It may take a while for you to figure out what works and what don't work. That's fine. Just find what works for you, stick with it, and let's do this, okay? Tip number six, eat fruits and vegetables. Oh, my God. One of the groups I'm in, this girl was like, she doesn't like fruits and vegetables. You can't somebody give her any alternatives to fruits and vegetables. I'm like, there are no alternatives to fruits and vegetables. You have to eat your fruits and vegetables, period. But... Find what fruits, find what veggies you like. Find which ones you love, which ones you like. And you use those. Import those into your meals. If all you like is green beans, corn, and um, peaches and apples. Find recipes you can make with those. Find smoothies you can make with those. Eat them by themselves. You can do that. Also, you can make, like I said, I mentioned smoothies. You can make smoothies out of vegetables you don't like. And mix with vegetables you do like and everything else that goes in the smoothie. And you can drink that. And you still have your vegetables, your fruits, proteins, whatever that you don't want, that you don't like to physically eat. You can still have those. Okay? Also, I want to touch back on something. But I said, to find what works for you. I know that a lot of people will tell you, you got to eat raw fruits. Eat fruit in the raw form. Raw, 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 raw. Everybody's not going to start out eating raw fruits. One, because they're high. And everybody doesn't they they have super money like that. Okay? So, if you start off eating canned foods, fine. Fine. That's perfectly fine. My first 10, 15 pounds came from eating canned green beans, canned corn, um, baked tilapia, and baked chicken. That's what it came from. Oh, and rice. That's what it came from. That and some fresh broccoli. That's what it came from. My first 10 pounds came off like that. 10, 15, 10 to 15 came off like that. Eating those specific things. Things in water. That's it. Okay? You know. Um. So you can start off with the cans. And then make sure you make your way to the frozen veggies. Frozen veggies are bomb. Um. They're just as good as raw veggies, but they're just frozen fresh. Make sure they're frozen fresh. You can find them at Walmart, Kroger's, basically any store in America you can find them at. Okay? And then maybe later on make your way to strictly raw. You know. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to throw that in there because people tell you, um, you know, that's not good for you because it's in a can or it ain't fresh. It ain't um, raw. You know, you're wasting your time. Don't believe that. You can eat canned foods um, and still get the weight loss that you want. I've done it, so I know what I'm talking about. Okay? Um. So, yes, number six was eat your fruits and veggies. Eat them, eat them, eat them, eat them, eat them. I can't express to you how important fruits and veggies are on this journey. Just important, just important, blah, 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 blah. Just as drinking water is important and eating your proteins and all that is important, so is eating fruits and vegetables. 
okay? They're important too. Number seven, clean eating. Clean eating is important in this journey. Duh. Um, cut out fried food. I'm sorry. I love the fried chicken, y'all. But I have not had fried chicken since I started this journey. Okay? I have not. I had a cheat day. I take that back. I had a cheat day a week ago. And I had some chicken tenders. But other than that, I don't eat fried foods because, one, it's not good for you. All that grease and stuff and just cut out the Popeyes, cut out the churches, cut out the KFC, cut out the fried foods, okay? Um, cut out, uh, your desserts. Cut them out. I love donuts, especially Krispy Kremes. <sighs> cut them out. Okay, cut them out. Now, there are snacks you can use to replace those things. I have these, uh, cranberries. You know. Cranberries. I have those. And I have some flower seeds. Okay. Which are great, great, great snacks. And y'all, I didn't know I liked cranberries as much until I was eating them in a salad one day. And I was like, these are bomb. They're bomb. Yes, clean eating is important. Um, let me tell you something. There are plenty, plenty, plenty of websites, videos, posts on the internet that you can find clean eating recipes, clean eating grocery lists, clean eating meal prepping. YouTube, Pinterest, and Google are your friends on this journey <clears throat> excuse me y'all so clean eating is very very important you don't have to eat nasty foods when people think of clean eating they think of foods with no salt on them foods with no seasoning foods that are nasty that's not true you can eat good good tasting good hearty clean eating meals okay um, so yeah, along with clean eating, I would tell you all to, um, research and educate yourself on this journey. You know, you have to find out things, you have to learn things, you have to dismiss these myths and stuff about dieting and changing your lifestyle. You have to dismiss those things. So educate yourself. Google, Pinterest. Facebook, um, YouTube, eat it, sleep it, drink it, think it, read it, watch it, play it, whatever. Okay? Until you get it down on the inside of you. So you can educate yourself, know what you can, know what you can't do. Okay? You can get tips from people and everything, but educate yourself. Period. Okay? Number eight will be journal your eating, meal prepping, meal planning. Write everything down. Use my fitness pal. Use map my walk or map my run where you can log in your meals. Record them because it lets you know what you're eating, how many calories there are, what car how many carbs in there, how many sugar, how much sodium. It lets you know every single thing that way you know what you can't eat what you can't eat and once you do that you can know what to buy what not to buy what to make what not to make so it can help you along the way it can be easier for you okay so journey your eating um tip number nine. Oh, I look at people funny when they say that, that they cut out all carbs and I'm like why all carbs are not to be cut out of your diet because you need your carbs. Carbohydrates, you need those. 
you don't need all of them, but you need most of them. So, if you eat, so like, let's say bread, for example. You don't want to eat bread every day. You don't want to overload on bread, but maybe one or two of your meals that you can have a piece of bread with. Okay? Um, one or two of your meals you can have a potato with, or a sweet potato with. And I prefer sweet potatoes because they're healthier, but they are still a carb. So you don't want to just uh, push out all your carbs. Like, you can do a low-carb diet. Now, that's a different thing than a no-carb diet. So low carbs are good. Um, low carbs, in fact, there are some that are actually good for you, which helps the process speed up faster. So like I said, research, educate yourself on those things, okay? Um, tip number 10. Do it when you don't feel like it. Boy! Boy. Girl! Girl. Do it when you don't feel like it. Oh my God. There are so many times I wake up at 6 a.m. and feel like, oh Lord, I don't feel like getting up this morning and going and doing no walking and no sit-ups and no crunches and no lunges and no squats. I don't feel like doing that today. I don't feel like it. That's when you need to do it the most. When you don't feel like it, is when you need to do it the most. Okay? Um, so, yeah. Um, do it when you don't feel like it. Y'all, I can't pressure that anymore. You have to do it. Period. Point blank. That's where your self-motivation comes in. That's where your self-determination comes in. You gotta do it. You guess to guess to. gotta do it, you all. You have a goal. Make that goal. Plan it. Go after it. Achieve that goal. Start strong. Stay strong. Finish strong. That's all I can say. So, yes, you all. Um, those are my 10 tips for losing weight. Those are my 10 tips that make big results in the end. So, I hope this video wasn't too, too long for you all. Um, yeah, I thank you all. Do not, do not forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And there will be an update on my weight loss journey coming up soon. So, yes, guys. Thank you all for watching. And see you all in the next video. Bye. Also, I suggest you all take lots and lots and lots and lots of pictures. Okay. Um, take befores and afters. Um, I want to say after maybe every month. Take a before picture before that month. Take an after picture at the end of the month. Okay, and you can compare those pictures each each month. Um, also, I would say to maybe wear yourself maybe once a week at the most, it's going to be hard. Trust me, because I started wearing myself every day. I was wearing myself every single day. You will get discouraged like that. Don't do that. Um, so, wear yourself maybe once a week, twice a week at the most, okay? Twice a week at the most. But... Take lots of pictures, um, and wear yourself once or twice a week, okay? So, yeah, also keep those two tips in mind, so it's actually 12 tips instead of 10. So, um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.